Hello everybody, my name is Fanny Gupta. In today's session, we are going to learn new English vocabulary words which will help us to expand our vocabulary and will also help us to clear CLAT and other competitive exams. So the first word of the day is muster, meaning collect or assemble. Means Muster means when you are collecting something or you are assembling something gathering all together so that is muster sentence she managed to muster the courage to ask him to the cinema so she gathered the courage usne ekdam himmat se bahut apni himmat himmat ikattha karke she collected the courage she was able to bring her together to ask him to the cinema the next word is castigate meaning to subject to severe punishment or criticism so basically castigate is used when you want to punish someone severely or you want to criticize someone severely so that is castigate sentence the principal castigate the student who have insulted their teacher so the principal severely punished or criticized the student who have insulted who has not well behaved with the teacher who has insulted the teacher the next word is solecism so solecism basically has got two meanings the first meaning is a grammatical mistake in speech or writing when you are speaking or when you are writing something and there is a grammatical error there that is called solecism and the next meaning is a breach of good manners so when you are breaking and when you are not observing observing good manners so that is called solecism now let's see what is written in the sentence maybe this blog have a lot of inaccuracy and solecism hence if you specialize in english help me to correct it thanks so in the sentence it is written that this blog may have a lot of grammatical mistakes and in, in, and inaccuracy but if you specialize in english that if you master in english please help me to correct it to correct it thank you the next word is aberration meaning a temporary change from a typical or usual way of behaving so when somebody uh, when there is a change in somebody's behavior basically a very temporary change so they are not behaving uh, the way they usually does so that is aberration sentence in a moment of aberration she agreed to go with him so it was very uh, unusual of her that uh, in a moment uh, she agreed to go with him the next word is schism meaning a split or division between strongly opposed section or parties caused by differences in opinion or belief so basically when there is a, a split difference of opinion or division between two opposite parties because their thinking do not match or their beliefs do not match so that is called schism basically two people two groups or two parties who do not think alike so that is schism sentence there is a very real schism in the motorcycling community between people who ride harleys and those who don't so there is a very big difference of opinion and division split between two parties basically motorcycling community between two categories where people who ride harleys and others who don't ride harleys the next word is bombast meaning high sounding language with little meaning used to impress people so basically bombast is something when you try to impress people by using impressive words it basically means that you are saying to people what they would love to hear okay so basically impressing someone but it has got a very little meaning and it is not genuine sentence his speech was full of bombast means his speech was full of uh, uh, it impressed people a lot it was uh, it, it uh, sounded very impressing but it has got a very little meaning the next word is stanchion meaning an upright bar post or frame forming a support or barrier so basically a bar okay a post a frame or something which act like a support which helps to support something or which act like a barrier 
सेंटेंस माय पेरेंट्स आर द स्टैंडशन ऑफ आर फैमिली सो माय पेरेंट्स आर द सपोर्ट सिस्टम ऑफ आर फैमिली so basically stanchion uh, so a word can be used in a lot of ways so in this because what is stanchion what is the function of stanchion it uh, basically is something which act as a support or barrier so in the sentence it is saying that uh, his parents or my parents uh, are the support of our family means they are our support and to every problem they are barriers too so this is stanchion the next word is emanating sent meaning to flow out issue or proceed as from a source or origin koi cheez apne origin se ya source se jab flow karti hai proceed karti hai so that is called emanating sentence delicious smells were emanating from the kitchen so a lot of delicious smells were coming or proceeding or flowing out from the kitchen so these were the words for the day Now it's time for the quiz. Please write the meaning of the following words. The first word is intractable. Second, dubious. Third, stingy. Fourth, aspersions. Okay. So now it's time for answers. I hope all of you have written right answers. Please check them now. The first word is intractable. Hard to control or deal with. So basically, when a situation comes that which gets out of your control, you cannot control it. It's very difficult to deal with. So that is intractable. The next word is dubious. Dubious means hesitating or doubting or suspecting something which cannot be relied upon. You think it is not correct. It is not meant to be trusted. So that is dubious. The next word one uh, word is stingy. Stingy meaning unwilling to spend. People who have written uh, mean. and generous they are also correct it has got same meaning the next word is aspersions an attack on the reputation or integrity of someone or something so when you attack on the reputation or integrity of someone you want to bring their image down you want to deteriorate their image you want them to humiliate them in front of people so that is aspersion so these were the words for the day Thank you very much please like and keep sharing